Do y'all want this figure? Then go on over to Chosen Prime where they can take good care of you, man. They got everything from Transformers, Power Rangers, Turtles, Marvel, DC, statues, whatever your heart desires. Follow that link down in the description and you can buy this Transformer as well. So just tell them that Deluxe sends you and you might actually get a virtual hug. Well, hey there, everybody. How y'all doing? Thank you for coming back as always. I appreciate it. Really hope you're having a wonderful day or night. And welcome back to my channel as always. I'm Deluxe. All right, let's do another Transformer review. Yeah. All right, today I'll be taking a look at Tri-Ace Toys Justice Commander. This is their non-transforming, highly stylized Optimus Prime. I uh, saw this at TFCon, uh, the Chosen Prime had this in their booth, and uh, I totally forgot about this. I think I talked about this guy on my What's New in Transformers a while back. I just totally forgot about it, but it looked really good, so I decided I wanted to get it, and he came in, so there you go. Nice box. I don't know if they put anything else out. I think this is the only thing they put out so far, but this is their Optimus Prime, and it just says Justin Commander, and then up there, and then on the back, he does have a lot of feature, which is cool, and then you got the warning uh, stuff, all that stuff. So pretty cool. Yeah, really looking forward to this guy. So uh, just let's get right to it. Uh, that's what you came for. Yeah. All right. As always, let's take a quick look what he comes with. He comes with quite a few accessories. So first, he comes with two swords. Really nicely done. Nice gunmetal silver for the paint job. It looks good. Nice sculpt work. And you got that nice, beautiful translucent orange for the blade. I like that. Looks really good. You got some paint on the end of it too as well. So that's good. You get two of those. You get two axes. Once again, beautiful paint job and some sculpt work. And the nice translucent orange for the blades. Love it. Looks really good. You get two of those. You get a little communicator, which will go on his arm. And I'll show you that in a little bit. This got some nice... Uh, Line work in there. Nice translucent orange. Looks really good. I like that. Comes with his blaster. Now you got, you can store it on this uh, jet pack as well. I'll show you that in a little bit, but there's a hole right there. And you can store it there on this back. But flip it down like this and you can hold it. Beautiful gun. Got some nice translucent orange in there. Nice uh, gunmetal silver. And silver paint throughout, some nice accent points, but really nicely done on the sculpt work. I like it. I so said paint right there, paint right there. Looks really good. It comes with the jetpack, like I just said. Painted all. I mean, it looks good. Silver got some nice gunmetal, and you also got some nice red paint in there too, as well for the thrusters. Looks good. Now these can go up and down. Looks good. Nice sculpt work in there. And you got the thrusters. They will go up and down, in and out a little bit as well. And the little thrusters are on little ball joints probably, and they're moving around a little wiggle waggle. But nicely done. I like that. And it will attach on his back. Looks really good. He gets a different head sculpt. He has two head sculpts, or including the one that very nicely done. Look at that silver paint. Beautiful baby blue eyes. Got a little gold right here for the cheeks. Beautiful metallic blue for the head or for the paint. Wonderfully painted, just like the weapons. But yeah, that's a nice, nice head sculpt like that. And I'll show you the difference in a little bit. And it comes with a stand, normal stand. You know, basic stand you always get usually with these. Nice line work in there, some sculpt work. You got this that will fit into that, and I'll show you that in a little bit. Now this will go up and down, and you can lock it in place. And then you got this, which is pretty cool. You push that in, and you can move it, and then push. if you want to lock it, push it back out. So that's pretty cool. Never seen one like that before. There you go. Nice little stand. I'll show you that. It just sticks in his little booty hole, and I'll show you that in a minute. But there you go. That is all he comes with, and I really like the weapons. They look good. And that head sculpt too. All right, so let's go over how the weapons are. Basically, it is like a regular, you know, um, masterpiece. He just has, he has a little, you know, a port right here. And he has a little slot right there and he can hold it. Now the gun, it, it's okay. It kind of gets loose a little bit, but you got to squeeze those fingers and it'll tighten it up a little bit. But it's, it's, it'll stay in there pretty 
decent if you shake it, everything. So that's how he holds his gun right there. And I'll show you. So on the ax and the sword, they have like a long, just like a indention right there. Like I said, you just line it up. You can hold it. You can choke it up a little bit if you want to. And you just close the fingers on there. And that's how you hold the uh, ax. And same for the sword as well. I'll just show you right there. And you can move it up a little bit. It has all that right there. You can work with it. So you can have it held any way you want to. And for the little communicating thing, you just, there's a little slot right in here. You just press this down like that and it has that little nice effect right there. So that's how you use the communicator. And it'll go on both arms, whichever one you want to do, both forearms. All right, for the jetpack, man, this thing is just, oh my gosh, this thing is so bad. All right, so you got to get this thing. There's a slot, two slots right there and a slot right there. But once you do it, this little back piece thing is going to probably fall off. So let me see if I can even line it up to even do this. Man, this thing is just, I'll show you a reason why. See, it just pops right off. So I'll I'll fix it and try to get it back on. I'll be right back. Golly. All right, I couldn't even get the damn thing on, so I just gave up. Don't even care. All right. Gonna show you the difference between the head sculpts as well, and I'm gonna get into this guy and I'll show you why he is not not good at all. Alright, so here that's the one it comes with right here. And here is the other one. I did take some pictures. So most of the difference is, you know, they got some more sculpt work there on the uh faceplate, and that's about it. Let's see, there's some silver right there or some gunmetal paint right there. It doesn't have it on there. So a little difference, not much, but you can tell there's a difference. So that's the difference of head sculpts. All right, here he is. So he looks wonderful. Looks great. The paint, the metallic paint is spectacular. I like the mold. I like the sculpt. It looks really good. But the execution for this thing is terrible. This man, this thing, let's call this man. This thing right here, I mean, look at this. It can't even hold his knee up. Same for this one. I think it can hold a little better. Nope. It's going to. I got some kiki stuff coming in. Hopefully, that's going to fix it, but that is terrible. This is a over a $200 figure, and the knees are just shot. I mean, if you set it up, if you fart wrong, it's going to buckle up and it'll just fall back. You know, he's heavy. He's got tons of die casts. I mean, I mean, everything. I mean, the legs, the knees, all this is die cast. Uh, remember the titanium line where everything was die cast and everything just wiggle woggle everywhere? Well, this is what this is, but, you know, 10 times more expensive than what a titanium was. So I'm really highly disappointed in this thing. Like I said, if you get him to stand up and he look, you know, he's fine. He like I said, he looks beautiful. But that part right there is just bad. So we'll just take a look at him real quick. Here's the head sculpt. So as far as articulation, it's really tight too. Look down pretty good. The uh, ears moved a little bit as well. So he looks down pretty good. Not much up at all. I wish he looked up some because, you know, if you want to put him in some different poses, it won't do it. So uh, he has a, he's on a ball joint, which the ball joint is hard to take off as well. Just be careful with that. I mean, this is an old figure. I think it's like a year old, so... Uh, and you can get a little add to as well. Now he does have this part right here, the batteries. You can put, he takes uh, three 4G batteries, which I had, which is awesome. I can't get this to go down any further. I don't know if it's supposed to go down. I don't know. I don't care anymore. Turn this on and you can get the lights on. Let me turn this off real quick and I'll show you. He can light up. So I like that. Nice feature. Now opening these up are a pain in the butt too because they get caught up or something. So I can't really open them very far. I don't know if you can open them up anymore. See, this one's just caught up and I don't want I don't want to break it. So I'm not going to try that. So let me see if I can get him to stand up. Okay. And let me turn the lights back on. Okay. And you just turn off. There's a little, uh, little switch back here. And you just turn it off. All right. Chest looks good. Abdomen looks good. The waist, very nice. That metallic uh, red, that cherry red looks really good on there. The silver, 
all this is painted. The little windshield wipers move up and down a little bit. So that's cool. And you got some nice uh, sculpt work in there for the matrix chamber. Looks pretty good. All right. As far as the arms, all this is painted. Once again, the silver looks good. The cherry red looks really good. Okay. So you go all the way up to there. You do got this little movement right here. So you can go all the way up to there. The shoulder pads do move independently too, so you can move that. Nice sculpt work. Once again, beautifully done with the paint. All right, you can move this back down. All the way around, you do got a double elbow, so very nice. And I like the sculpt work through right there. I love the pistons painted in gold right here as well. Very nicely done as far as uh, looking good, but the execution is not good. Bicep swivel. And you do have a butterfly too as well. So great movement, just, you know, for the upper half. Um, the hands, the swivel, and they go in and out as well. So that's good. They are each individually moving, you know, the fingers and the thumb. You do got a little movement right there and a little movement right there. You got one, two, three, three points of articulation for each finger. So that is good. I like that. Looks good. And they're painted too as well. So very nice. All right. So he can do, I'm a little teapot. Very nice. He does have a waist swivel, not all the way around, just about there. I mean, it's good enough for me. That's fine. And he also has an ab crunch, which it does show some nice sculpt work right in the back. That looks good. The gold and silver. See, that's just falling. Uh, okay. Let me see if I can put this back on. I'll be right back. All right, able to put that piece back on. Hopefully it'll stay on this one, stay on this time. But he does have a decent ab crunch, very nice. I'm a little teapot. And nope, it's still gonna pop off on me. Golly. Ugh, whatever. Anyways, there you go. My little teapot, there you go, ab crunch. Okay, so these flip out as well. These flip out. Once again, beautiful paint job, silver, gold, red, I meant blue, tons of paint. The paint is great. All right. And then no ratchets at all. No ratchet on this at all. He couldn't do the Van Damme all day, every day. Just tensioned. And move these up and kick up to about there. See, <laughs> it can't even hold the knee up. I mean, come on now. This is over $200. Move the butt flap out, and you can go back there. Nicely done. You can move it down, too. It's got the drop-down thing, but whatever. Uh, thigh swivel there. It's a little bit, not a whole lot. Once again, knee bend. You know, he's got double knee. You know, and I love the piston. That looks good. Once again, the paint looks good. Gold paint, blue paint, silver paint. Gunmetal, silver. Awesome. All right. So you kick up, kick back. Once again, look at the piston in there, nice detail, and a little rocker, not a huge one. But once again, it's got some gold, silver, gray, I mean, whatever, and that's it. And then the back, let's see. Once again, looks good. Silver, I mean, the paint looks good. The pistons, look at the pistons and everything, looks really good. The blue, very nice. But he just a pain in the butt. I mean, if, if, like I said, if you fart, he will buckle and... You just got to stitch them way in right. Like I said, I'm getting some kiki stuff. I'm hoping that will fix the knees. I just want the knees to be fixed and he'll be fine. So there you go. There's Optimus Prime. Uh, there he is with the stand. Uh, you just take that little butt piece out of there and you just stick it in. There you go. And there he is next to the 3-0 Prime and Blitzwing from the Bumblebee movie. Like I said, he is a, he's a tall boy. He's a tall fella. But there you go. Scale. Crappy garnish, crappy toilet paper, a thing of Lysol, squeaks, and Care Bears for more scale.
All right, folks, let's talk about Tri-Ace Toys Justice Commander. This is their highly stylized, non-transformable Optimus Prime. And that's how he was most of the review, because that's, I mean, like I said, if you fart, it will fall over. The knees will buckle. Like I said, I do got some key key stuff coming in. Hopefully, that will fix it. Now, this is mine. I don't know for sure is yours is going to do the same thing. This has been out for over a year, I think. I don't know if they put anything else out. If they have, they need to go back to the drawing board with this guy. Too heavy. He's got, you know, I love the die cast, but I think it's way too much. No ratchets in the knees or the hips. And just tension, and they just, they don't hold anything. Uh, the shoulders are real loose. I tried to put the backpack on, the back part fell off. I mean, it's just, it looks wonderful. I love the paint. I love that cherry red. It looks really good. The silver, the gold, the blue. All the paint looks spectacular. I love the little, uh, you know, the nice little pistons everywhere. You know, sculpt work is really great as well. It's just the tolerances are terrible. They're so bad. Like I said, remember the titanium class or the titanium line? You know, all of them were all uh, die cast and just, you know, little floppy messes. This is the problem. I did get some good picks on this. If you can get them in some good positions, because the articulation is really good as well. I like it. The articulation is great, but it just won't, I mean, it won't hold the pose sometimes. And it's just... Those knees kill me. So like I said, I hope the Kiki stuff works and it'll fix it. As long as he can fix the knees up, I'll be excited. I love the, you know, the light up feature looks really good too as well. I mean, it's a beautiful piece, but for 200 bucks, I mean, you can't even, the knees just buckle. I mean, come on now. That's just bad. Like I said, I don't know. Has anybody, have they made anything else? I don't know for sure if they have. I haven't looked into it, but like I said, it looks stunning. I love the, the, you know, the paint and the sculpt work. You know, I love all the details, the gold uh, pipes and stuff. That looks really good. I'm really just disappointed, you know, that I pay for that and it just, it doesn't stand up that well sometimes, but I don't know. Well, yeah, hopefully, like I said, that stuff will fix it. And, uh, you know, maybe yours is not the same, but uh, mine's just not that good. It wasn't fun to review. And uh, you could tell, hopefully, on the review, it just, it was, it was a pain in the ass. So I don't know. It's not worth it. Not worth the 200 bucks at all. So uh, hopefully they'll fix it and we'll see. All right. Well, that's my review. Hope you liked it. If you didn't, you probably will. You'll tell me about it. But hit me up some like, share, spurs, and care bears. Go ahead and hit that sub button for me if you don't mind. And uh, hit me up some comments. Tell me what thought of the review. Uh, if I did this, you know, if if it's not adjusted or warranted, you know, that I said all this stuff about it, just tell me, you know, tell me in the comments. So I guess I'll see you in the next Transformer review. And as always, be good to yourself. Hail Transformers. Hail Hasbro. And good night, folks.